This one's going to be on TBO. It's a GNOME comic creator. Pretty simple program to use. So let's bust this out here. So it's kind of weird uh, the way that they set this up, but this is how you use it, right? First thing you want to do is click on the new frames here. And the only frames you can do is actually just, um, you know, a square box or a rectangular or whatever. But anyways, just draw a uh, box here. You can draw multiple ones if you like. Doesn't really matter, you know. Even like right here or whatever. Um, and then with the, and then what you want to do next is go back to the selector here, the little arrow icon. And then what you can do uh, when you click on the box is that you can have, uh, or you want to be more precise. You can change the height and the width uh, if you want from here. Uh, other things is the background color. Let's say you want to change this to I don't know yellow or something, All right? Or is it like, kind of like lime or something? Uh, you can do that for the other ones too. Let's say I want to click on this one, change this to maybe um, orange or something. You can do that. Uh, you can do this one too. You know, you get the idea. Anyways, um, after you did the box and everything, select the first one that or you know whatever the one that you want to work on, and double click on it right and then you just have this um, frame alone only and you can work on it so we can do here they have some uh, doodles by default so you click on the doodles here if you want to use what they got they got a few here so let me show you a few so you see that's what they got right there but let's, let's go on with this uh, let's say I use this penguin here drop it here and then you can resize oops resize this here make it a little bit smaller I guess right and the next thing you can do is of course you have this bubble you know like comic bubbles uh, let's do this square one here and let's resize this a little bit bigger or something there you go right uh, and then you want the text so you click on the text here and then click on the white space here and then you have uh, text you can edit over here on the side Let's do alright uh, you can change the fonts or the colors you want but I'm just gonna leave it alone uh, make sure you uh, switch back to the selector right and then you can move it around if you want uh, so that's it for that frame now once you're done with this frame here you're gonna hit escape and you go back to you know what we had overall here and then you can do that to the next one so let me do another one here double click on this and uh, I'm gonna put in a doodle here Let's see what we got here I don't know South Park uh, okay what not and let's make it like that big I guess <coughs> and uh, let's do the bubbles Let's say we do the ellipse here. Make it bigger. And let's do the text. What what does South Park say? I don't really watch South Park. Oh yeah, what up? <laughs> Sorry, remember his name, that's it. Um and then switch back and then you change it the position there. So that's it. That's pretty simple to use. They do have this other one. This is where you um, put your own custom image if you don't like the default, right? You can find your own image and then you put it in here. Uh, so after that, you just hit Escape and you go back here. And if you want to add like a new, uh, you know, new page, you can do that. Like this is one is page one. You can do page two, page three, whatever. Um, but when you're done with everything, you can actually uh, export it to PNG, uh, PDF, uh, SVG if you want vectors and all that. So we do uh, PNG here, okay. And we'll save it on our desktop. We'll call this, I, I don't know, comic, that's it, PNG, and then uh, save. And uh, let's see, it should be in our desktop here. So here it is. And there you go, that's our uh, comic. Pretty simple to use, right? 
Um, they do have a tutorial here. So let me show you that. Although it's in Spanish, I believe. So I have no, uh, you know, no habla espanago, so I don't really know. But if you're Spanish, you can read this. Then it's more beneficial to you. I might be missing something. Uh, but that's how you do it. It's pretty easy to use anyways. Anyways, if you want to use or you want to create comics, um, and you know you don't want to do a lot of work, just simple stuff. Then there you go. Uh, you know, just drag and drop and type in whatever you want. Easy stuff. Anyways, that's it for this one. TBO, Gnome Comic Creator.